In the name of God, hello, my name is Ali Bagherzadeh, and I'm honored to have the opportunity to present our article titled Financial Market Prediction Using Deep Neural Networks with Hardware Acceleration. Since the foundation of the very first stock markets, many researchers have been motivated to conduct scientific research on the market data due to two main reasons. Firstly, financial incentives have played a role in attracting scientists and accelerating the evolution of the field. And secondly, high levels of noise and non-stationarity in the market data makes the field challenging, tempting researchers to try to propose effective solutions. Besides this, another motivation behind doing this research was to design a hardware accelerated neural network usable as a baseline in further studies. Lately, due to neural network's high capability of learning nonlinear functions, many researchers have utilized machine learning and deep learning for predicting market properties such as price, volatility, and trend. Notably, volatility is a measure of the market fluctuations and trend is the market direction. Price and volatility prediction are regression problems while trend prediction is a classification problem. In previous research, the trend is usually classified in two classes of upward and downward, or in three classes of upward, downward, and level. A few number of studies have utilized more than one time frame of input to improve their model. They have used lower resolution data, but no study has used higher resolution data. In previous research, researchers have used field programmable gate arrays to predict financial exchange rates with Monte Carlo, finite difference, quadrature, binomial trees, and simple basic machine learning techniques. In, a, in an article published by Don J, a convolutional neural network, is deployed on an FPGA to sentimentally analyze the market data, but no study predicts the trend using hardware accelerated neural networks. The proposed model accepts two different resolution time frames of data. We provide the model with more detailed information on the neighborhood of the time of prediction. Moreover, by implementing and deploying the train model on a field programmable gate array, we lessen the prediction latency in inference mode, which makes the hardware suitable for being utilized in higher resolution time frames. In addition, the field programmable gate array allows for outsourcing the computational intensive processes from the primary source of the computation, as well as lessening the energy consumption ratio. We used EURUSD foreign exchange pay rates as the dataset due to two main reasons. Firstly, as the dataset has been used in many research, it is regarded as a benchmark dataset, which allows us to compare our model with previously proposed models. And secondly, high levels of liquidity makes the dataset reliable. The original dataset consists of 
10,000 records, while each record consists of open, highest, lowest, and close prices in minute resolution. Each training element is a window of normalized open, high, low, and close prices and corresponding values of simple moving average and exponential moving average technical indicators. In the training data set formation process, the window moves forward in time with a stride of 1 on the original dataset. The labeling settings is the same as the study done by Jean Z, which labels each training element as either upward or downward. The model consists of two parallel data propagation ways, each of which responsible for analyzing a time frame. In this article, the forecasting time frame is 5 minutes, while the higher resolution is 1 minute, and 1 minute data is fed to the network as well. Each propagation way consists of a one-dimensional convolutional neural network. The features extracted after performing convolution are then concatenated and fed to a fully connected network. Hi, I'm Mohamed Hadi Furuhi and I will continue the presentation. As mentioned, we implement our model on hardware. The model connects to the network and gets the input data. In our case, the input is a 5 minute and 1 minute. The model predicts the trend of the market based on this data and the predicted value comes back to the network. Uh, to explain the implementation, we use top-down approach. First, we present the top module and go down to every component. Here is our uh, top module. As you can see, there are two paths, for, uh, one for one minute data and another for five minute data. Uh, we use pipeline technique for uh, optimization to increase the model's throughput and the clock frequency. And uh, the stage of um, the pipelining is here. At the stage uh, zero, new data comes and stored in the register. At the stage one, uh, data has come to the 1D CNN module for uh, convolution operation and extract features. Uh, at stage two, uh, data come uh, concatenate that this feature concatenated and passed to the fully connected module to uh, produce the output. Uh, this is our uh, one CNN module. Uh, in this module, we use fast Fourier transfer for converting time domain data to the frequency domain. The reason for uh, that is the complexity of convolution in the time domain is O n power 2. To avoid this time consuming operation, we leverage the conversion uh, in the frequency domain, which is uh, its time complexity is O1. About the converse, conversion between time and frequency cost out about well, n log n. So convolu uh, convolution operation in the frequency domain is better approach. For this purpose, we use DFT discrete Fourier transform and IF IDFT inverse discrete Fourier transform module for conversion between time and frequency domain. In frequency domain, the convolution operation, operation is done by multiply data and corresponding weights. So we use the complex multiplier for this reason. And uh, pipelining uh, is you here. Uh, stage zero and data in the time domain comes to the DFT module to convert to the frequency domain. At stage one, uh, data is read from zero first and the, and the corresponding weight read from the weight memory and multiplied. At stage two, uh, data in the frequency domain convert back to the uh, time domain. The fully connected module is used to uh, predict trends based on the input features. Uh, uh, this uh, module uh, consists of fully connected layers. Each layer consists of neurons. 
uh, output of these uh, layers comes to the hard wax module to decide uh, what is the trend. Uh, and uh, neural module, uh, as you can see in the uh, figure eight, uh, we use uh, Mac uh, operation multiple accumulate uh, on the data and the corresponding weights and equation is here uh, and we use uh, pipelining here and stage 0 data comes and stores in register and stage 1 uh, data and corresponding weights uh, reads and multiplied and, and we say uh, we name the, uh, the result as wx at the stage two, uh, this WD, WX add uh, the add uh, with the previous WDs, and if the WDs is the last one, the bias add with them, uh, and stage T, uh, the output of the stage two comes to the radio activation function. Uh, to evaluate our model, we use convolution. Confusion matrix indicating the number of true and false prediction in each class. Uh, we use the matrix to report the accuracy, um, precision recall, and F1 score. The result shown in table one. Uh, as you can see, accuracy of our model is 76.16%. To compare the accuracy of our model and the other forecasting model, we select some related models, train them with our data, and compare the accuracy with the accuracy of our presented model. This comparison uh, were made with the models with the uh, MLP, LSTM, 1D CNN, hybrid CNN, LSTM. And as you can see, our model is uh, more accurate, accurate than uh, other models. Uh, uh, it might be mentioned that uh, the uh, hardware implementation model is uh, uh, less accuracy than the software model uh, because uh, in the if, uh, in the hardware implementation, we use fixed point uh, data and we have uh, hardware con uh, constraints. Uh, in addition, our uh, hardware model having a high uh, accuracy, uh, it has a much faster performance than the model runs in CPU and GPUs. We run our hardware accelerator on FPGA and run the software model on the CPU and GPU. As you can see in figure 9, uh, the FPGA implementation is almost uh, 380 times faster than the speed uh, of the model implemented in CPU and about 266 times faster than model implemented in CPU. Also, we report uh, hardware specifications in table 3. Um, for conclusion, uh, in this uh, work, we present a multi-frame neural network to predict the short-term movement of the financial market. Then, for acceleration, we implement our model on hardware, and we use pipelining method for optimization. Uh, uh, in evaluation, our model is more accurate than the baseline method, roughly around uh, 10 uh, to 12%. Also, uh, hardware implementation on FEJ is much faster than the software model implemented in CPU and GPU. For future work, uh, we can add more paths to uh, our model. This path can be uh, other time uh, frames or correlated uh, assets like uh, USD cat pair. Um, and this is all references. Mm, and uh, any questions?